In this video, I want to show you how I create a, a simple engineering drawing of a, a wheel for moving a belt. It's not finished yet, but I just want to show the, the basic setup of a, a 2D drawing within SOLIDWORKS. So I downloaded uh, this file from an engine. I can show you where it is. It's uh, open right here. This engine I downloaded from GrabCat. I didn't draw this myself. I'll show you where I find it. I found it on GrabCat. It's a nice uh, site for finding 3D models. And here I use the library search. So I go to library. I'll show you how I'll find this file first. And I use advanced search in most situations to just find models for SOLIDWORKS in my case. Because I'm, I'm using SOLIDWORKS. Then I search for engine. And then you will not yet find this model that I just had open because now it's showing you the, the most recently added ones. I want to have the most downloaded files so I'll, I'll know there'll be some, some nice engines but they're not all set up properly. Like uh, I tried this one here and there's something wrong with it usually. Like it's for example just one part or it's surfaces. So I scrolled through some models and to really know whether or not a file is usable you'll first have to look at it so i found this model around page five i thought it was uh, page six this one here see a lot of engines and let me see where it was it was on page six just now but now it's apparently moved a little again so many files are uploaded continuously and it doesn't matter, I'll just look for Briggs in that case. That was the name of the engine that I found. And here you see it. This, uh, this is the one I downloaded. And as you can see, I also liked it. I pushed this button and I like the model because it's uh, set up very nicely. So in that way, you can find some files in, uh, in GrabCAD. First, you'll also have to look, is it really SOLIDWORKS that you found? And you see here which version as well. And then to really see if a model is very usable, you'll just have to open it in SOLIDWORKS. And if it's not usable, you'll just have to look for another one. So then I'm going to open this file and create a 2D drawing of it. I'll open it. And then you see it's uh, drawn by some German speaking engineer because everything is written in German over here. And then I'm going to create a 2D drawing of it. Then SOLIDWORKS warns me that I already have a drawing with that name of this file. So I don't want to open that. I want to show you how to create your own 2D drawing. If you got your, sent your template set up nicely, you can choose from a template over here. So I'll use A3. It's a, a nice format for a drawing, nice for the printer. And then I'll enter a couple of views over here. As you can see, the, the views are a bit too small. So what I'll do is... Uh, I'll create some views and then I'll change the scale of this drawing with the right mouse button properties. I can change the scale of the whole drawing here to one on two, like that. Then I'll replace the views and you can see these views from the side. These are not very nice views, of course, for drawing. They're completely dark. It costs a lot of ink on the printer, so I'll just delete one view and I think I'll also delete this one and then. I'll change this view to another look. I'll use this look over here so it's a bit nicer for the printer. And also for this uh, this view, I can change to shade it with edges. Looks nice on the printer. It looks nice in the drawing. So now I've got the model inside my 2D drawing and then I want to add dimensions. And the easiest way to do that is with this button. It will enter a lot of dimensions in your drawing at once. As long as you select entire model, it will enter a lot of dimensions in your drawing. Like that. And they're not very nicely placed yet, so we'll have to change that. And that's easy to do that in SOLIDWORKS. You just select all dimensions with a box select. And then you wait. Don't move your cursor too fast. Then this button here will appear. And with this option, SOLIDWORKS will arrange the dimensions in a pretty nice way. So you've got a, a pretty usable 2D drawing very fast. Then of course, there's too many dimensions here. So you have to delete a couple and add a couple of other ones. 
the select way in SolidWorks, by the way, is when you select from left to right, it will select all the dimensions that you've included. Whereas in this case, I can better select from right to left. I'll just zoom in a little. Um, like this, I can easily select those two dimensions if I want to delete it. And you'll see the other dimension is just shifting nicely to move over. And like this, I've already set up a, a basic drawing. Of course, you'll have to uh, enter a lot more dimensions. There's a lot of tools here to set this drawing up nicely. And since uh, the 2014 version, you also have angular running dimensions. So let me see that how that works. I have to look. At, I have to look into how that works. It's new in 2014. You can easily uh, enter the circular dimensions over here in uh, the, the pattern of these holes in this wheel. But anyway, this is what I wanted to show about the 2D drawings. Thanks for watching.